hey y'all we doing this we we me and corbin got this thing where this is corbin i don't know if i've introduced you guys to corbin but this is corbin and we got this thing where we will we'll listen to the word of god and when we listen to it on the bible app um we talk about it that's that's called training your children up in the instructions of the lord and so today we were listening to second kings chapter eight and i just got so excited and i said corbin corbin what you know what did the woman get what did the woman get and I'll drop the story later and I'll come back and read it later. But I just have to tell y'all this right now. I'm so excited because this woman in 2 Kings, she did what, Corbin? She got something she didn't work for. She got something that she didn't even work for. See, we too busy out there. That's what he said. She got something that she didn't even work for. We too busy worrying about if we don't work that we're not gonna get something. Sometimes we don't even have to work for something and we can get what God has for us. See, the thing of it is, it's about our obedience and I'm driving. So, um, uh, you know, y'all with me, but I'm driving. So here's the thing. The woman was told by God to go spend time with her family. Go to your families and spend time with them. That woman was there with her family for seven years and being there for seven years, she spent time with her family. You know how it is when we our family. So she spent time with her family, but then when she went back to get her house, come on Corbin, what happened? She got her house back and she got the income that she would have worked for. That's how God blessed her. See, this woman didn't even work for the income. She got the income that she would have worked for simply because she was obedient to what God had told her to do. We got to be obedient at all times to God. If God tell us to go, we might want to go. If he tell us to stay, we might want us to stay. If it stay, if he tell us to listen, we got to listen. He tell us to meditate on his word day and night. Meditate on the word day and night, which means read it. Think about it. Talk to the Lord about it. Lord, your word said this. What does that mean for my life? Baby, I am so excited for 2 Kings chapter 8 because this woman was told to go and be with her family. She was with her family for seven years. And when she came back, because of her obedience, she got her house back and she got the income. Come on, Corbin, what? She got the income at which she would have worked for. This woman didn't even have to work for her blessing. All she had to do, she had to do what, Corbin? What she had to do? What she had to do to get it? Get it? She, she had, had to be what? She had to, go with the she had to be obedient. She had to go with her family, which meant she had to be obedient. We got to be obedient to God. Psalms chapter 1 verse 2 says, meditate on the Lord day and night. That's what he tell us to do. Can we get to it? Can we do it? We can't say that we put God first if we're not reading his word. We can't say that we love God more than all things if we're not reading his word. Because what he calls us to do is have a relationship with him. The only way you can have a personal relationship with him is if you dive into your, in your word. The only way that you can... Um, be obedient to him as if you know what he's telling you. And he tells us what to do through his word. And when he tell you to go, go. When he tell you to stay, stay. Baby, I'm so excited for what chapter? Second King. What verse? Eight. Oh, no, no not verse eight. It's second King. I said that wrong. I said that wrong. But it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, second Kings chapter eight. It's the first few verses, but I'll drop the scriptures later. But I just had to get this on video so I can tell you guys. I'm going to come back later and I'm going to read it. 
but right now i was just so excited in this car just yelling criminals like whoo we just we just yelling we excited for what god is doing in our lives listen the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy and he is trying his best to destroy you destroy your relationship with god destroy your family and you can't let him you cannot let the enemy destroy you the word of god ephesians 6 and 10 says, put on the full armor of God. Your full armor is the word of God. You have to put on the full armor of God. Got a little choked up one second. Uh, Excuse hungry. me. <clears throat> you got <clears throat> You got to put on the full armor of God so that you can fight the schemes of the devil. If you if you don't have the full armor of God, then how can you fight? The way we fight the devil is with the word of God. The way we fight the devil is also through prayer. Prayer and the word of God. That's the only way we can fight the devil. He is here. He is fighting us. He's throwing out his fiery darts. The only way you can put him out is with the word of God. So I encourage you guys to stay in your word. It's a new year. It's 2020. <clears throat> Stay in your word. Stay in your word. If you if you need help, if you need help understanding, call me. Text me. Send me an email. I don't mind giving you helping and giving instructions about the word of God. I'm teaching Corbin. Ephesians 6 and 1 says, train your children up in the instructions of the Lord. Me and Corbin reading our Bible. Corbin listens to Bible stories on YouTube. We read the Bible. We do whatever it takes to grow our relationship with God. And we're not accepting the fact that the enemy is trying to kill us. We're not accepting that. He can try, but he's not going to succeed. So if he ain't going to succeed with us, he's not going to succeed with you. You guys have a blessed day. I love you. Corbin, you love him? I know I love him. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to love all people. All people, my child is funny. But, <laughs> no, literally, I don't know. Who that's okay. Them. Whoever, whoever sees this, we love them because we love all people. Because God said to love one another as you love yourself. So we're gonna love all people. We're gonna teach whoever, whoever has the ear to listen, to whoever has the ear who hear. We're going, we're going to teach the word of God. I'm gonna teach Corbin. I'm gonna teach you. I don't have a problem with it. And we're gonna pray. Let's pray. You going to pray? Can you pray? No, you pray. I pray. Thank you, Lord. We come to you in the name of Jesus, Father. We just thank you for your word. We thank you for 2 Kings, Father God. We thank you, God, for giving us example of this woman who was told to go to her family, Lord. And when she came back, you blessed her, Father God. You blessed her while she was with her family. You blessed her when she came back with her home and the income that she would have received, Father. So we thank you, God, for this example you've given us through 2 Kings. We thank you, God, for the love and the protection that, that you give us each and every day. Lord, we thank Thank you for grace and mercy. Lord, we ask that you would help us to be, to you know, lead us, God, in any direction that we're supposed to be in. Lord, don't let us go outside of your will, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you would bless each and every person who is under the sound of my voice, God. I pray that you would guide them. I pray that you would give them your wisdom. Lord, I pray that you would help people in this world know how to love each other the way you have taught us to love. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. You guys have a blessed day. Follow my channel. Share this message with somebody because somebody needs to. We on live. We on live and I'm going to post this. Stop. <clears throat> Share this message with somebody because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to be excited. It was 2 Kings chapter 8. And I'm going to just drop it because I'm about to post this right now in the name of Jesus. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.